All right. So diving in, what is it about Nimona that drew you to this project? Kind of everything. I mean, no, it's a cop-out answer, but the original source material, so cool, so beloved, so imaginative. The character felt so relatable to my own experience and so many people's. The cast, you know, um, what Chloe's done in this and Eugene, all these people just been just the top of the game. But really, I say maybe that the, the thing that pulled it all together is, is our amazing directors, Troy and Nick. They just, I mean, most of us recorded on our own. And, and while we were doing that, Troy and Nick played every other character for everyone. You know, they're just so committed, playful, meticulous, their stamina, their enthusiasm is just endless. So when you're working with people like that, it just inspires you. And from the first meeting, I could I could get that passion from them. Um, and and so, yeah, that I think they drew, drew me to the project and everything they were presenting and everything they were pulling together was exciting. So I know like this is based on a graphic novel and Ballester obviously had this he existed in some form already, but did you get the chance to kind of work with the directors, with the writers to expand him beyond what was already on the page? No, I can't claim any credit for that. I mean, Nick and Troy are already just like pushing every single moment in this film to try and get everything they can from it, to try and deepen it, try and make it funnier, try and make it more surprising. Um, I was really just kind of like in their hands and, you know, trying to understand their vision for it and, 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 do my best to kind of hit that mark. And then they'd also encourage me to improvise and try things and play around. So that was more moment to moment. In terms of the overall arc and the vision of the character, I was in safe hands that they knew that they would always push for everything that they could. Is there like a standout moment of improv that like comes to mind when you think back to the recording? It's all a blur that took place over about four years at this point. But I don't know if it's improv or not, but I love that moment when, when Mona just says, that guy peed in his armor, that guy peed in his armor. Um, mm -hmm. I was like, what? <laughs> um, so many amazing lines. I think Chloe's done an incredible job in this. So no spoilers, but is there a moment in the film, you know, beyond like the comedy of it, but is there a specific moment that you are most excited for people to um, to experience when they see the movie? Honestly, it's it's not a specific moment, but I just want people to meet Nimona and fall in love with her. Like I said, I think what Chloe's done with this character is just phenomenal. I think Nimona, to begin with, is a, a hugely lovable, hilarious, mischievous character. I think this could be just one of people's favorite animation characters of all time. I, I genuinely feel like that. She certainly is one of my favorites straight away. You speak very highly of Nimona, as you should. She's an awesome character. And I think her and Ballister's dynamic throughout the whole thing is it's the heart of the story. So I wonder if you could speak to kind of what it was like bringing that that dynamic to life. It was interesting because, as, like I said, we were often recording solo. So we were relying a lot on Nick and Troy to do the you know other characters. But what's amazing is that, um, you know, when I did get to hear what Chloe was doing, when I could get to see what she was inspiring the animators to do, like the force of her performance and of Nimona's character just shone through. And, you know, when you're working with people that good and with writing and characters and directors that good, honestly, it's like you kind of just have to just respond, you know, to what you're given. Um, don't get me wrong, it was a real workout. They put me through my paces. I wasn't just chilling out and just batting the ball back, but they would not let me coast. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I think we got that line. They're like, no, do it 50 more times. Do it this way, this way, this way, this way. So, you know, my first time doing animation. Um, but uh, it, it just felt like, um, it felt like playing around with friends, you know. Would you say that was maybe the biggest challenge in making it is because it's your first animated project kind of, getting into the swing of a new way of doing things? Yeah, I think so. This is a new process, really. And it's just like, it's really physical. It's quite, can be quite technical. And it's very, very long, detailed process. You know, you record everything, then you come back and do it again. And then you go back and you come and do it again. And the animation, the story and everything is just evolving again and again. It's like a back and forth between what you're recording and what's being animated for, for literally years. I think three or four years at this point, you know? So, um there's something kind of really inspiring about that um, commitment that it takes to make it. And it's certainly, I have even more respect for animators 
after this.